Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Doing your next 24 hours love reading. This reading is for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below this video. Just click that link and that will take you to my booking site. Okay, if you're new, welcome. And um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this reading. You can also follow me on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. All right, Virgo, we have the past energy, the present, the future. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I knew this, this Three of Swords was going to come out, and because I saw it at, right in the beginning when I started shuffling. So let's take a look at the past. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Two of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Okay. Um, you may have been connecting with someone who was of the fire signs. If not, this person just kind of had a... Um, seemed or came across as being self-assured and confident okay um and i feel like in the past this person was at a crossroads wait either waiting for some results uh had a decision that they needed to make in regards to a relationship maybe with you or something else going on in their life but Looks like there's some there was some remorse or regret in the past. I feel like for some of you Virgos that your person or this person was waiting for you and was sad, became sad because they felt like maybe this relationship isn't going to be able to keep going forward. Um, unrequited love, not enough attraction or chemistry. Um, there's a sense of like in the past some grief um, or this person felt abandoned or possibly felt unloved or that felt like maybe you felt as if uh, I feel like they projected that you either felt or you gave off the energy that something wasn't going to work out here. Okay. And I feel like this person was sitting in a position like perhaps they were calling you or trying, they were praying for some way, some possible way for you guys to come together, but something didn't happen. There was a feeling of loss, uncertainty. There might have been inconsistency in this relationship or there was some emotional changes. Somebody displayed maybe a change of heart. kind of feel like this person was waiting for you, Virgo, and became saddened. Oh, this is, I feel like I want to cry. Um, became saddened that the connection didn't, wasn't able to keep going. Okay, deeply hurt. Hmm, it's interesting. Let's take a look at this Queen of Wands. Okay, two of swords. Well, I feel like um, we have two twos here. I think this person was ready to make a decision about your relationship, was trying, like, had gone within and was ready to make some kind of compromise with you. And I don't know what happened. Let's take a look at the two of wands. Look at two of cups. Now we have three twos. Romantic love. I feel like they were waiting for you to come. They were, they'd already made a choice in the past that they wanted to be with you. Something happened. Why did this five of cups happen? Why this remorse and this grief? Wow, the tower. 
sudden change. Something happened. A sudden shift or a sudden change. Somebody abandoned or blocked or ended a relationship in the past. Either they did or they didn't think they had enough to offer you. Or you did. Or you both did. But because this is what I'm looking at is your person. There was a deep sense of loss and, and some regret about agreeing to letting the relationship end. I feel like it was sudden though with the tower. Let's take a look. I'm going to get another card for the tower. And now we have the two of pentacles. So we have all four twos here. Twos represent balance, partnership, diversity. It almost feels like in order for you and your person, um, you know, there was choices here. There was a choice. There was a lot of choices that needed to be made. And something seems like in the past it didn't work out. And not just your person being sad, but perhaps you as well. Maybe it was a mutual decision. There were many options, many things that needed to be weighed about this relationship. And I feel like, you know, like a juggler juggling. Something happens, the stage falls, everything falls to the ground. And it feels like unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. But I kind of feel like... Um, that might have been something someone was saying as kind of like, oh, okay, well, we weren't meant to be anyway, right? However, calling in your soulmate sits right next to that. So they're, it's contradictory, okay? Someone here in the past was like, really wanted to have this connection, really wanted things to go forward, was praying, wishing and hoping it wouldn't be like that or it wouldn't be this way. However, everything changes in the present. Let's take a look and see what the romance angels messages are. Oh, children. Hmm. Romantic feelings. There's a new beginning. Romantic feelings here. There's communication happening in the present. A spark, a new spark. A new start in love and an out with the old in with the new. A, ma a major change happening with this world card. Whatever situation was going on in the past between you and this person, it's done. It's the, all the negative, whatever negative. There's a new beginning in love here with this person, with your person. Okay, there's an initiation of love. There's courage, willpower. Okay, this is something that happens. It's almost like a blessing. It just comes out of nowhere. And it comes from communication that comes from uh, your person reaching out to you. Okay. It's like the love begins to blossom again. It, it never was unrequited. It may have been like a stalemate situation. It just didn't go anywhere. But the love was never gone. It, it, it had nothing. I feel like this unrequited love was just something that someone was telling themselves in the past. Kind of like rationalizing something that ended. Kind of like saying, well, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Or we just weren't a good match. And there wasn't enough of this and that. But that was more of like a soothing thing. Either you told yourself that or your person was telling themselves that. Okay, there's romantic feelings here, a new spark of romantic feelings. And there's also something here to do with children. This connection may have something to do with children, actual, you know, your own children or having children. Or um, it could have something to do with being playful, having childlike playful energy again. Let's take a look at this page of wands. Oh, wow. 
the high priest this person's like ready to like they communicate with you let's do it i mean to go from this There might have been a stalemate. Maybe it just didn't it didn't progress the way you wanted, and maybe you were the one that just said, oh, it's not going to work out. But maybe you were still calling or still talking to each other in the past, not fully ready to let it go. That spark, Virgo, has not left. It's still there. And it blows up into this Ace of Cups. We have Taurus energy here. We have Scorpio energy. So far, we have Leo, Aquarius, uh, Aries, uh, Sagittarius. So the high priest, as usual, conforming to traditional roles. And what does that mean? Traditional roles is like... <sighs> rules following through it's almost just like this person maybe wasn't sure that they could meet your needs in the past maybe they ended it but now here they are there's a big shift there's a big change i feel like there's a phone call there was still some type of connection phone call texting whatever it might be and if it wasn't, it's just that feeling of that energy. You guys are still connected vibrationally in some way. And then as soon as you begin talking again, it's like whoosh, the whoosh. Everything comes back around. Okay? And it just kind of feels like this person can, wants to talk to you about either marriage or a committed relationship. Let's get another card for the high priest. Huh. Now I have the two of wands again. So it's back on. Communicating with you. Waiting to hear what you have to say about that. Okay? They've been waiting. I don't feel like your person ever fully left. They may have communicated with you and said, oh, I guess it's not going to work out, or it's not what I want, or I can't, or, you know, let's just be friends. It was still staying in some kind of connection. You know, or there was just this energy of like them telling themselves and giving the impression that it was done. But no, the connection is not done. There may be some type of proposal. Okay, could this person, I feel like there's marriage here. Whether it's for real, like, you know, legal or spiritual union, sacred union, Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy. And she does not have a lid on her cup. You know, this person is bringing you. You know, it, it's almost as if they get infused with this love. And then there's inspiration. Which aces are always, you know, new beginnings. Of, of a new sense of inspiration. Okay. Inspired to bring you this love and support that they have within them. I don't feel like this person really wants to give up. What's the world here? The world is definitely um, completing some kind of, learning some kind of lesson. Your person definitely in a position of learning some kind of lesson. One of those lessons is the need to be more consistent and work on the partnership. There's romantic feelings here, and there's going to be some type of exploration of the emotions between the two of you. Um, I feel like the way you two will be communicating on a romantic level will be more like childlike. Um, perhaps you both kind of are gun shy or skittish about expressing romantic feelings. Um, so the way you express them to one another will be kind of cute, childlike, puppy love kind of thing. Um, I feel like your person, Virgo, is going to be showing up with like, okay, I can do this. Tell me what to do. I'll follow your, your rules. 
I'll fall, I'll fall into place, you know, with that Hierophant, whatever it takes. And enjoying it. Hmm. Okay. I just had something. I was looking at this future. Getting to know each other. Wow. And making the effort. There we go. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I feel like your person is coming in with some truth. They're gonna they're going to start communicating. Um, to bring you clarity, total honesty here. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. We also have Capricorn. They're bringing you some clarity. I feel like your person is going to really open themselves up to try to reveal how they feel and who they are. Stuff that um, maybe you just didn't know some truths coming out. Let's take a look here at this Queen of Swords. Wow, the star. Very healing energy. This deepening of this bond, Aquarian energy here. And that star, that's a renewal. That's hope, a miracle. Some of you might be like, what? It's a miracle that this person is talking, okay? But um, I feel like they're going to put a spotlight on who they are and share and reveal themselves to you. They want to renew your connection. They definitely want this healing within themselves. Maybe they'll tell you they've been getting some healing in working with some counseling or... Just sorting things out on their own. I'm going to get another card for this star. Going and getting some type of help. Here's the world again. This person is ready to shift out of this old cycle. Um, even if you feel like it's not something that's going to work for you, they're going to do their best to show you that this is what they want with you even if you've ended the relationship they're gonna try really put in all their effort and do whatever it takes here to not have this connection end now the devil is here so this is an energy of like you know the devil can represent addiction greed that kind of thing maybe there there's something to do with addiction that they're letting go of Okay, maybe they're having some kind of heart surgery or something, but this is also the devil. Um, this is all about attachment, but it's unhealthy attachment. Okay, so there may be some kind of communication about that as well. But I also feel like your person will also tell you that they just cannot let you go. They may not be very good at love but they definitely know that you're bound for life and they don't want anybody else. And you don't either, Virgo. Let's get a clarifying card here. The sun, <laughs> yep, coming out into the open. They want a successful relationship with you. <clears throat> this person feels like you guys are, when you met, it was like instant, instant attraction, instant meant to be energy. And I don't feel like this person ever intends to give up on you or to let this connection go. Um, I feel like they are hoping and their intentions are to have a joy, joyful, connection with you happiness sunshine come out of this dark place that you that they were in and that maybe they led you to so what's this three of swords here for okay there for some of you there might have been a an interference third party interference now that can be a person place or thing but you know your story 
They don't want to argue anymore. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? They don't want to have their heart broken anymore if there isn't a third party thing going on. I'm not predicting that. I'm just saying if you know for a fact that there was, okay. But I feel like here they don't want their heart broken anymore. They don't want to break your heart. I feel like they come to terms and confess that they've hurt you. Um, also that they felt a great sense of loss and depression and heartbreak when you guys were not together and the wheel of fortune this is change this is in both of your favor this is a turning point they're taking a gamble with you and to make the effort they really want to try to really get to know you not just you know the physical stuff and like really get to know you. And they really want you to make the effort to get to know them, like on a deeper level, to deepen that bond. Okay, let me get some Romance Angels cards. Let me see what this person's romantic feelings or deeper inner feelings are for you, Virgo. I regret lying to you. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. I'm so attracted to you. New love or recommitment to love is developing here, Virgo. You've learned the spiritual lesson. Wait, the timing is not quite right. Okay, some of you right now. You just need to just chillax. <laughs> just let things fall into place. You've been on some kind of a spiritual journey and so is your person. And you're both, maybe separately, learning to master the growth that you both have been having. To change the dynamic of this relationship in some way, I see this here. This new love energy is like, it's not a new person. It's a recommitment to one another, but in a new way. This person is crazy attracted to you. There's no doubt here. Nobody else. But they did lie to you in the past, Virgo. And there's regret about that. And the financial challenges, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. Somebody here is having a struggle financially. It could be you and it, or it could be your person. Um, or it could have been both of you together. That may have had an effect on ending something in the past. Somebody might have been very irresponsible. But it's safe to make the move you're considering. This person is taking a leap of faith here with you, Virgo. And I know you're like, what? <laughs> they want to tell you how they feel. Now, for some of you, maybe they've done that before. But this time it's going to be a little different. Because this is revealing the truth to get into this healing energy here. This is like renewing this connection and opening up and telling you about the things, their fears, their anxieties, their um, obsessions or possessiveness or their uh, the, the, the negative things that have been trapping them, which is not the things that you may have heard them confess before and you feel when they tell you this a sense of relief they hid behind material things I remember every detail of that day this has something to do with some time you guys spent together you went out somewhere or you did something together maybe they bought you a lot of gifts or they paid for something um their intention was to bring good to you. This is something to do with some time that you guys spent together here. Um, that maybe they were not sharing their emotions, but they were 
offering things to you doesn't have to be rich expensive things but offering things to you as a way of giving as a way of expressing yeah regret someone feels remorse for the way they treated you and are they coming back because of the re regret you know virgo i say this all the time regret is heavy duty stuff <sighs> regret can kill you uh, rejection we can get over rejection any of us but regret that right there the only way to remedy regret if possible is to just go in and remedy the situation i don't feel like your person or you or you want to live with regrets and i feel like your person wants to just try to come and avoid being in a state of regret but I don't think it's just to level the playing field or to make everything neutral. I feel that this person truly does love you. And their intention is to not lose you because of this love that you experience together. So it's been a rough road for you, hasn't it? I'm just going to pull one advice card for you, Virgo, before I end your reading. One advice card for Virgo. Okay, we have a jumper. King of Wands. Motivational, inspiring, theatrical, ambitious. Take a leadership role, Virgo. Step into the spotlight. This could have something to do with public speaking. Keeping your eyes on the big picture, Virgo. Not the details, the big picture. Communicate your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. Okay. You're being called to be charming and courageous and confident during this time period. And I'm just gonna get one more. Okay, again with the two, two of pentacles. The need to bring balance and fun into this relationship. Okay. Don't sweat it, Virgo. They love you. And I feel like they're not going to let you go. And they are going to come forward in your life and try to make things right with you. Okay? Um, in the meantime, Virgo, focus on your work. Try to bring balance to your work, career, social life. Okay? bring balance and fun into your life handle your stuff handle your priorities like a boss balance your budget okay and don't sweat things because i do feel very positive with your reading that things will work out for you going forward with this person okay so get some sleep get some rest dive into a netflix show Distract yourself from your worries and your fears. Spend some time with friends. Go have a very nice blueberry liqueur summery drink. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Do whatever you can to make yourself be in a positive place. Okay, Virgo? So that's your reading. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the way out. And if you want a personal reading, link is in the description box below. And I will see you guys very soon. Also, oh, um, on my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, if you would like to get a mini reading from me, show up on my channel on Saturday between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I go live at that time, and for $20, I will pull three cards for you and answer any question that you like. Okay, so if you get a chance to show up there, I hope to see you. All right, Virgo, take care. I love you guys. Bye.